Hello everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can put this N810 on form submission onto your own web page. Now, unfortunately, if you go read through the documentation inside N810, they do not have the ability to embed this N810 form using an iframe. So it won't cleanly just integrate into your own web page. Instead, you will have to use the link that is provided inside of here. So you will be using the production URL. So in that case, it will just open up a separate uh, link and it will be using the N8N web page. So, but I'm going to show you how you can cleanly integrate this into your web page. What you're going to want to do is whatever web application you're using, if you're using Squarespace or WordPress, usually you will have some sort of button that you can add to your web page that will say work with us or contact us. And the majority of times you can embed a URL into that button. That is the best way I can suggest you using this on form submission. So, once you have input this production URL into that button, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that you have this workflow activated. Otherwise, if you try to um, click the button, it will not work. So once that is activated, come back to your website and just go ahead and test this out. So I'm going to go ahead and click work with us. And you can see now we basically have the familiar N8N form page over here. So you're just going to put here whatever information that you want. I'm just going to make something up like Larry and at hotmail.ca. And I'll just put in a bunch of numbers over here and I'll just click submit. And you can see it says form submitted. So if we come back over here to the workflow, you can see that I just added a Google Sheets node over here. And if we come over here, you can see that I basically added in the information there. So that is basically the quickest and easiest way that you can embed this N8N form onto your web page. Like I said, N8N currently does not offer us the ability to embed it directly within our website through via an iframe or some sort of code. Maybe sometime in the future they will allow us to do that. However, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I will see you in the next one.